Hey, Danny K. Come to you from Danny K. Jim Wellness. And today's tip is about exercise myth busting. And I'm out of breath because Justice and I are running around the gym doing cardio. So she keeps coming running back here and then running back out in my breath. Anyway, myth busting. I wrote down some things um, because, and, and please interject, you know, if you, um, you know, get what I'm saying, push the likes, push the hearts. Um, if, you know, if you have some aha moments, push the wows. If you have any other things that you want me to bust, type in there, interact with me and tell me what you want me to bust or have any questions about. So one, there's, there's, I like it. I made a list. There's a couple that aggravate me. Um, one, um, people think that women will balk up, right? And I'm here to tell you that regardless of what everybody thinks about me, I'm not bulky. Like I'm, I'm lean, you know, I have, you know, a, a low body fat, but I'm not bulky. Like I'm not like this jacked up huge, you know, like, I mean, it might have the illusion because I'm, you know, I have cuts, I have definitions, that kind of thing. But I, my bicep is only 12 and a half inches, folks. It's not huge, right? You look at any of the women bodybuilders who are on steroids, that's why they're bulking. But a natural female has one-tenth the testosterone, most women have one-tenth the, te the testosterone that men have. So you will not bulk. Like, you will not get huge, jacked, 21-inch pythons unless you have some hormonal, steroidal health or, um, help, right? So... Myth number one, you will not bulk. Oh, there we go. Okay, so um, I had an interruption there, so I don't know um, if, uh, but I'm, I just turned off my Wi-Fi, so I'm actually connected. So women will not balk. Um, uh, another myth is, no, I don't do steroids. No, I don't do hormonal anythings, whatever. This is all natural, clean eating hell, um, and heavy lifting, right? So anyway, spot reducing, this kills me. Spot reducing, you cannot spot reduce, and mostly ladies, you cannot spot reduce. Doing all the crunches in the world will not get rid of your belly fat. It, you know, um, over 26 years in this industry, and that's mostly what everybody, all the women come to me and say, I do a thousand crunches every single day and I'm still not getting rid of this. It's not about crunches. Crunches to your belly is like bicep curls to your biceps. You know, is like leg extension to your quads. You know, it's like tricep push downs to your triceps. It's just strengthening the muscle. You are not going to spot reduce your belly. You cannot just go into a certain area and say, okay, weights, cardio, exercise, whatever it is, get rid of this. Get this bigger, get rid of this, blah, blah, blah. You cannot spot reduce, okay? So, the, and what is going to get rid of this? is not crunches, is not sit-ups, it is nutrition. Nutrition is key. Nutrition is 85% of how, of the results that you see within your belly, right? So it's, it's, it's not crunches. You cannot do crunches to spot reduce. Another um, ab exercise that actually gets on my nerves, especially when I, mostly men will give this to, men trainers will give this to females. Mostly what aggravates the hell out of me is when you see women doing the side bends, when men train, when, when male trainers give that to female clients, please, females do not do side bends. All that does is just builds up the sides, right? It builds up your obliques. It is not getting rid of your muffin top. You cannot spot reduce. You cannot do side bends to get rid of belly fat. You have to eat proper. You have to do proper nutrition to get rid of this belly fat, right? So there we go with that. Uh, spot, uh, I already said side bends. <laughs> that already got me on a tangent, right? Um, so um, and um, lose. Uh, the, uh, another thing that, that kills me is when people come up and say, I want to lose weight. And trainers will say, eat less. That is not always the answer. So my thing is why it irritates me so much is people that are overweight already know that either they're overweight or they've already been trying to do some sort of fad diet. They've already been trying to do some sort of exercise. They've already been trying to do something to lose weight. 
when they're seeing, most of the time when you're going to it, when you, when you step foot into a gym, when you finally decide that you want to do join a gym, or when you finally decide that you want a trainer, most times, most times, that's like the end, that's the final thing. Like, oh my God, this is, this is the la my last, my last thing, you know, like I, I, I you're, you're my last result, you know, um, not result, but, um, whatever the word I'm looking for. Um, I need a little sip. My, my throat's a little dry. Um, so they're already, they're already knowing. So probably nine times out of 10, if you already know that, you know, you're, you're, you, you know, you're overweight, you've, you've stepped foot into a gym, you're, you're, you know, trying to see, you know, a trainer. It's like this, this, it's, it's my last draw. Like help me. Right. So the, the, the worst thing for me that I could hear a trainer tell someone that says, you know, what can I do to lose weight for them to say, eat less, that aggravates the hell out of me because my thing is, I don't know what you're already doing because like I said, if you're finally stepping foot in the gym, finally asking a trainer or, you know, trying to finally get, you know, professional help, then that means you've already tried some things, right? You, you already uh, know and, and, and you're trying other things. So you probably aren't even eating enough, right? So, um, you, you know, like I always hate that quick response that a lot of trainers do you know say hey you know i want to lose weight what can i do and most most trainers will just give you an easy quick response answer that says eat less move more and i i, I can't stand that because right now like i don't know like if you already know that you're overweight if you already know or realize that you want to lose weight if you're already in that mindset that you want to lose weight you might only be eating a bagel a day. You might only be eating a protein shake or drinking a protein shake a day, right? So I need to first find out what you are doing, you know? That's where personal training comes in. It's not a cookie cutter answer. Personal training is, and there I see a couple of people that are on there that actually use my services and have used my services. So give me some likes and hearts because you know I'm talking what I'm talking about. It, you know, it, it, people, um, it, they... Um, you know, it, it's personal training because everybody's body responds differently. There might be one particular, you know, kind of blueprint that we can kind of, but then we got to tweak things. We got to tweak the workouts. We got to tweak the exercises. We got to tweak the meal, the meal planning. We got to tweak the numbers, right? So it's personable, right? So it's not a cookie cutter answer. I can't just say, oh, eat less, move more. So, and my thing is, if you go to a trainer, if, if you are, are looking to lose weight and you want to lose weight and you go to a trainer and you say, hey, how can I lose weight? If that trainer says, eat less, move more, walk away. Do yourself a favor and walk away from that trainer because that is not the response that you need to hear. That is just something that they've heard over the years and they think, oh, that's a kind of cool question and, or a, quick, uh, a cool answer. And, you know, by, by me telling you that, like, oh, that you're going to choose me as your trainer. No. If someone tells you as a trainer tells you to eat less, move more, and they didn't find out what you're already doing, walk away. So my thing is when, when, when someone comes up to me and says, I want to lose weight, you know, I want to lose my belly. I want to lose my, my, you know, I want to lose body fat. I want to gain, you know, whatever. I want to find out what they're now doing, right? I want to know what they're doing, what the knowledge, what knowledge that they do have right now and, and what misconceptions or ideals that they have right now you know, true or, or false or whatever, whatever they're carrying along with them right now. I want to find out what they're doing. So that's why I give free consults. That's why I always tell people, come in for a free consult. We can do free consults over the phone. We can do free consults over, you know, like, uh, you know, FaceTime or my closed um, channel on YouTube. But, you know, a free consult is, is key and finding out what you are doing right now, what you know right now, what you're, you know, what you are, you know, capable of doing, what your limitations are. So I need to find out certain, you know, certain answers to certain questions. I can't just say, oh, you only lose weight, just eat less, move more, boom, got you. Well, if that was just as easy as that, then everybody would be doing it, right? So if you're trying to lose weight, you're probably already not eating enough. So my response would be, what are you eating now? 
And most of the time, because people are in that thought process that, well, I want to lose weight, I know I need to eat healthy, so they're eating healthy, they're, they're making smart choices, they just aren't eating enough already. And they're not eating enough, they're eating fruits and vegetables and salads, but then I'm like, well, where's your protein, right? So then I'm like, you need more protein. What, really? Yeah, well, I thought protein makes you, oh, there's another myth, boom, right? A lot of women tell me, well, I thought protein makes you bulky. I thought protein, you know, makes you big. Well, protein, it, it, it's all on the, the calories of what you eat, one, and it's all on whether you're a male or a female. Like again, like I said, females have one-tenth of testosterone that men have. So, you know, like for me, I weigh 120 pounds, I'm five foot. Um, it, I know, I'm five foot, that's it. A lot of times when people see my videos and they come and they're like, wow, you're pretty short. You look taller in the videos. <laughs> I'm five foot, guys, so when you meet me, I'm only five foot. <laughs> I'd probably come up to your belly button. <laughs> anyway, um, but you know, I weigh 120 pounds, so what I try and do is, me personally, because I'm, I'm maintaining what I, you know, I'm trying to maintain what I have. I'm not trying to gain, I'm not trying to lose. I'm maintaining, so me personally, I get 14 to 1500 calories in because I like my cheat days, so I, modify my, I moderate my cal calories during the week. And I eat 120 grams of protein a day. That's a gram per pound. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, that's not what I would tell you to do. If you were a guy, you know, there's different, there's different levels. So that's why it is so important for a trainer, nutritionist to not tell you eat less, right? We need to find out more information. Like, so that's where I go into like with the free consult, you know, I get into more of, well, what are you doing now? What are the, the end result? What do you want to see? You want to lose weight? You want to gain muscle? You want to lose body fat? You, you know, you want to maintain whatever it is, you know? And then, I, you know, I, 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 you know, figure out like what the meal planning is, what the calories are, what the protein grams are, what the exercises are going to be. So it's just not a cookie cutter question, uh, answer. And a lot of times, you know, because, you know, trainers want to be the better trainer and they want to be the cooler trainer and they want to have the one that, you know, oh, well, I, I saw, you know, Billy Bob professional trainer say, well, eat less, move more. Oh, so that's a good one. I'm just going to answer that. I'm just going to respond in that way. And then that'll make me like a celebrity trainer. No. Right. So we want to find out what you're actually doing, what you're not doing, what you know, what you don't know, and, you know, and go from there and build on that, right? So, you know, and, and again, protein isn't going to make you big and bulky women. You know, it, there's a certain, like I just did a meal plan um, for a lady yesterday, uh, last evening, and, you know, there's a certain percentage of her body weight, of body weight um, that I try and get people you know, women and men to do, you know, per, per, um, you know, with the protein grams because you need protein. There's, there's things that you need there. You need protein, you need fats and you need carbs, right? Fat doesn't make you fat. Um, it, you know, it's, it's the overeating of the calories and the quality of the calories is what gives you the results. The quality of the quantity of the calories is what gives you the results, right? So, you know, you do need fats. You do need protein, ladies. You do need protein. It's not going to, you know, just because you eat a chicken breast doesn't mean you're going to have a huge bicep and huge quads. It's not going to happen that way, right? It's it's all on the how much of that you eat. And of course, like I said earlier, women only have one tenth of testosterone that men have. So you're not going to get bulky. You're not going to get bulky because you pick up a dumbbell. You're not going to get bulky because you eat a chicken breast. You know, you're not going to get bulky because you're eating a protein or drinking a protein shake. It's all in the amount of it. It's all in, you know, your body, you know, chemical, hormonal makeup, you know, and it's all in how you, how you do lift. So there's different, different things, different ways that as a personal trainer, I do personally for you. I see Tracy just came on. I used to train Tracy and, it, you know, over at the other gym. Uh, well, actually here too, right? So, um, but, um, so, you know, there's, there's several different, and, and like I said, like, leave me as you're watching this, um, whether you're watching it now or whether you're watching it in the replay, um, you know, leave me some things, you know, like, because I covered a couple of things with, with the myths, um, mainly the big ones that, that I get asked um, or, or, you know, asked about a lot. 
Um, but you know, if there's other things that I didn't touch on, leave me a comment and I'll, you know, either, you know, comment back or maybe do another video later, you know, exercise myth busting too, you know, whatever. But again, women will not balk. You cannot spot reduce. Um, these are like just key points. If you're just joining in, you might want to go back and look at the beginning of the video. Um, but what, you know, cause I went more in depth. Women cannot balk. You cannot spot reduce. Ab exercises will not flatten the bit. That's what irritates me is about magazines. Um, is magazines will say, you know, ladies, five exercises to a flatter stomach. Not gonna happen. Save your money. Save your money. Do not spend money on a magazine that's gonna give you five exercises to a flatter stomach. It's not going to work. You can't exercise to a flatter stomach. It's nutrition. Nutrition is key. It's 85% of how you see those results. It's nutrition, ladies. And don't, and, and another, the, the myth busting side bends. Don't do those side bends. Don't do them. <laughs> don't. I'm telling you, don't do them. Um, and then losing weight, question mark, like eat less. No, it, it's not about eating less. I mean, sometimes it might be. But for me, as a trainer, again, if someone comes up to me and says, how can I lose weight? I'm not going to just give you a cookie cutter answer. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Anybody who's ever trained with me that's popping on right now, it's been, you know, whether you're watching it now or watching it in the replay, if you train with me, give me some likes, hearts, whatever. Um, but um, people know that I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I don't sugarcoat things. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you should and need to hear to get the results that you want. Ultimately, that's what you want. You want the results, right? You don't want just you know a pat on the back or say, oh yeah, you're doing good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, just keep eating less. Well, I'm already eating a bagel and an egg white. How much more or less can how much more or less how much less can I eat right? So I have to find out. That's again why I do my free consults. I find out what results you want, what you're doing now, what you know now, what you need to know, and then I fill in the blanks for you, and we get the results. We get the desired results that you want to see. I've been doing it for over 26 years. And I think there's only two people that have never seen the results and that's because they didn't follow what I wanted them to do, what I told them to do because they said it was too hard. They didn't want it, they didn't want it enough or they wanted to hear something that they wanted to hear. I'm not gonna tell you what you wanna hear. I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear to get the results because that's why you come to me. You want the results, right? And I'm gonna give you the results but you gotta do the homework too, right? So, with that said, there's Laura, what's going on? Um, so, you know, I know like a lot of people just jumped in and everything. So definitely go back and, and I, I tapped on, touched on some, some cool, um, some cool things. Mandy is watching. I have Mandy in like nine minutes. Is Mandy here at the gym already? And she's watching. <laughs> anyway, um, so, uh, but I did bust a couple of things and I, I went through. So again, if y'all have any comments about what I, what I spoke on, leave them, private message me. Um, again, DannyKJMWellness.com, DannyKJMWellness on Facebook. Um, you know, hook, um, holler at me if you want that free consult. I, I, I do free consults. I know we're getting to the end of two, 2017. She's like, yeah, yeah, almost done with work. Then you can kick, yeah, right? Um, so, um, it, you know, uh, and we're coming into 2018, you know, let's, let's get a jump on this stuff. And I'm still, oh, wait a minute. Today's the 19th. Today's the last day of, if you get the eight or the 12 pack where I give you a free case of Stark water, right? So if you're wanting that, jump in on that. Um, we can do, I have a couple of slots open this afternoon for some free consults. So, you know, we, again, we can do them over the phone. We can do them you know, FaceTime, um, you, you know, we can do them in person. So just, you know, holler at me, leave me a comment, private message me, you know, um, let, let me know what it is you're looking for. Let's start 2018 off on the right foot with the right knowledge and bust any myths. If you have any other myths that you want me to bust, leave me a comment below um, and I'll bust them for you, right? So DannyKJMWellness.com, DannyKJMWellness on Facebook, Mandy, get ready because I'm a kick ass. Get ready, get ready, get ready. It's about to happen. So anyway, stay tuned, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.